Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to go ahead and finish up our seat belts for our car. And we're going to just basically go ahead and import the clip models that we need for for our uh, our ni the nylon parts of our seat belt to go around. And I just go ahead and import these and, and basically scale them down. And then we'll go ahead and start drawing our our actual polygon meshes for our our seat belt and then we'll just simply duplicate it and, and place it in the car as needed. And there you can just see I'm scaling down the the clips and these are just a um, model I used on another project or from another project that I was that I worked on. I we'll just need to edit it a little bit as all. Well. And this doesn't take too much work. It's, you know, fairly simple. Nothing that's, you know, really that complex. I'm just trying to place them properly and this just takes a little bit of a little bit of time. The key here is just basically trying to, you know, make make it look like it's functional and actually going to work properly. So now we're going to go ahead and draw out the polygon mesh for our nylon seat belts here. And I'll just go ahead and basically create a plane and, you know, and start ex extruding as as needed and that's basically how we're going to create our seatbelt. I have to scale it down a little bit so that it's going to, you know, go through the the hook properly. And in some cases, you know, you definitely do have to do a little bit of editing on, you know, your geometric shapes just to make sure that everything's, you know, going to fit proper, proper and be placed the way that you want them to be. And the good thing is you basically only have to do it once because then you can just simply duplicate it rather than, you know, remodel it. So that way you save yourself a lot of time. And we're basically just going to uh, <clears throat> leave it like that. We're not necessarily going to model the bottom of it since you aren't really going to see it. And the main part of it is, you know, the top here because our windows are so large. So we need to, you know, at least add this little bit of detail so, you know, we can really go ahead and, and basically sell the car model.
now you can see that I have that duplicated hook that I just simply placed for our our seat belt in there and I'm just basically wrapping the the polygon meshes around it so that it's you know gonna look like it's attached to it And this is looking, you know, pretty good in terms of functionality and and style. So it's it's starting to, you know, basically come around and really look like a a car interior at the moment. I just wanted to go ahead and turn off that double-sided lighting there. I'll turn on the original, you know, uh, lighting for the scene. Well, I'll basically go ahead and fix the uh, the normals here in a little bit. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add some thickness here to our seat belt. and add some edge loops so that everything's going to maintain its shape properly. And basically there is our seat belt. Um, I still have to do a little bit of editing to it, but you get the general idea. And that was a little bit too thick for me, so I'm going to go ahead and scale it down, scale the extrusion down here a little bit. And just go ahead and re-add our edge loops. Just double checking there to make sure that our seatbelt mesh is going to you know, look the way it should. And now I'm just going <clears> to <throat> go ahead and add a, a metal piece so that it looks like it's being held together. And I'm basically just, you know, adjusting verts and moving them as needed here. And you can see I just added a thickness there to our our metal piece. And now I just need to, to go ahead and adjust it so that it's gonna fit around the nylon part of the seat belt a little bit better. Go ahead and bring in some extra edge loops here so that it's all gonna maintain its shape properly. And that's looking pretty good right now.
And now I'm just going to go ahead and group all this stuff properly. So I can just basically duplicate it and go from there. And there we have it all grouped properly. And now I can just simply duplicate the the seat belt meshes as needed. Go ahead and move the outliner there. Just scale it in the negative one x direction. So it just basically flips it. Just checking to make sure that that's looking okay. And that you can actually see the seat belts.